so I'm just going to give you a sneak peek inside um, a bag that I will bring with me. First things first, this is my old trusty bag. Um, I've had this many years, I think probably 12 years. It's a 65 litre um, backpack, uh, built in rain cover inside. Um, so it's got me through many a hike and many a camp and still going strong. So great little investment that was back in the day. For my sleep system, I have my Van Gogh Nevis 100. Just got this as a gift uh, recently. So it is a one person tent. It weighs roughly 1.7 kgs and it is extremely lightweight. Like I, I can't get over how lightweight this is. It's uh, very compact. It doesn't look very compact at the moment because I've kind of put it away a bit backwards. But with the compression straps, you can squish this bad boy down into a very small sack. On top of that as well, you can attach it to your tent very easily with more straps. And it's just a great bit of kit. It takes about five minutes to put up and two minutes to take down. Um, but yeah, all round, good budget uh, tent for starting out. I think it was like 112 quid. So, can't go wrong here. Up next is a, a tarp. Now, I'm only new to tarps recently, so I've only used this twice. Um, got this from Amazon, I believe it was like 23 euros. It's a 3x3 three three meter tarp. Um, comes with about 5 pegs and a couple of ties. So, with the current weather the way it is in Ireland, if you go camping. Um, I never I never would normally take one of these before because I wasn't really kind of, uh, I suppose, educated on how useful they are. But if you are around a forest or somewhere where you have trees or somewhere you can kind of pitch this, it's super handy because if the weather comes down, you can put this over your tent, kind of keep your area dry, also cook underneath it, which is a big thing as well because not a lot of tents, including that one I just showed you, will have a lot of space for you to cook and it's not always safe really to cook inside the tent considering the material. So um, great budget uh, tarp. Then we have my trusty uh, Van Gogh Nightstar um, sleeping bag. I've had this as long as I've had the bag, as 10-12 uh, years. It's only a two to three season um, bag, but I've used it in kind of all varieties of weather so far. And I used it just recently in my last camp uh, two weeks ago. And it hit zero degrees and I had an extremely nice comfortable night inside this. Um, it's like 1.6 kilos. It's a little bit heavy, a bit bulky looking. I can strap it down and make it a bit smaller like I can with a tent, but you won't really get much more than what you can see there in size. So it does take up a little bit of space in your bag, um, which is the only downfall I have on this thing, as it's lasted 10, uh, 12 years, say, um, and it's never steered me wrong, you know. Next is my sleep mat. So as you can see, another not so small item, but I've had this for years and I just haven't really bothered to buy a new one because it's, it's not heavy. I say it's maybe the guts of a kilo. Um, it is a regatta outdoors. It's grand, it does the job. It's nothing major, it's nothing special. It's never let me down. Um, it's a self inflatable one as well. You can add air by blowing it up, but um, I don't seem to have a problem with it, so I'm not, you know, I'm not bothered about throwing more money at it if I don't need it. So yeah, apart from its uh, lint, otherwise it's pretty cool. Um, this will be my um, windshield for cooking, so it's a fold-up windshield. Um, I don't really use it that often because I'm lucky so far, but um, when you need it. You know, it's always just handy to have. It weighs nothing. I think it's a probably hundred grams, give or take. I'm not even sure if it says anything on it. Um, but yeah, like it's it just sits in a side pocket. It's perfect. A, a little trusty uh, handy pocket knife and an extra uh, little pocket torch just in case. Um, don't really use the torch, but I use the knife sometimes at. Uh, for cooking or for having dinner. Just a handy little thing goes on your belt as well. 
a uh, spray cylinder gas uh, I like cooking on fires but uh, you can also get caught out so having a small cylinder of gas like this is pretty handy when you've got a little small cook set like this so this is one of the very first cook sets I had and it's a little frying pan on the bottom and then a pot on the top small handles out the sides for you know holding on to and whatnot uh, your lid inside and then you have a small little gas stove inside here pretty straightforward nothing special it's it does the job you know what I mean it, it, it's ideal for getting you out of a, a sticky situation where you know you were going to cook on another device and the weather turn on you this little device would be ideal and it's cheap like this the whole kit cost next to nothing but that will just simply go on top of that and you can get yourself a meal get yourself out of a hole um knife fork spoon in a little handy container and then a little mug for your uh, either measuring out your water or a cup of tea cup of coffee beer wine whatever your whatever your poison is and that's all pretty easy to go back in together it goes on top and then boom you can fit a few more items in there as well I, I, I generally when I'm going light I try to just keep it bare minimum there's no point in lugging you know half the kitchen sink with you I've done it and I'm only learning my lessons now as I get older so that's pretty handy Um, always bring a spare set of pegs uh, like four or five from the major they're very light there's probably like maybe 20 30 grams there just as a, a backup in case something happens this is a small ground sheet or mini tarp um, it's not that big it's pretty straightforward it's just a, a bit of an extra installation for underneath the tent I don't like to have the ground sheet of the tent touching the, the, the floor of where I'm, wherever I'm gonna pitch the tent just simply because it gives me an extra barrier between me and, and whatever whatever floor I suppose I'm sleeping on um, whether it be it you know in the hills or in, in the forest it also keeps the moisture uh, at bay from coming up into the ground sheet and acts as a little bit more insulation not major but as it's it's, it's a cheap and cheerful little extra to have um, I like to have my axe so I only carry that with me if I'm going to, to I suppose a woodland um, got that from woodies for eight euros so just handy for getting the firewood together um, it isn't light so you know it's not something you want to be carrying with you if you're just going on a you know a one-nighter where you won't be chopping wood in a forest but otherwise handy little tool to have and as I said doesn't cost much um, back to my sleep system small pillow it's tiny it doesn't weigh a thing I, I, it kind of feels like the weight of a tea bag it's very very light um, once again another Amazon purchase cheap and cheerful doesn't cost much at all set of gloves these are just uh, gardening gloves I like them because there's a bit of kind of almost like denim and then you've got uh, a leather um, leather fingers and palm so it's handy for when you're cutting wood uh, with a blade or if you're working on a fire taking in and out pots and pans of a fire you don't burn yourself This is an old uh, razor bag. I just decided to adapt it to my um, sauce, salt, pepper, uh, sweetener for coffee, that kind of thing. Um, you know, I, 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 every time I go to a restaurant, or whatever, and there's these left over or whatever, I always manage to pocket a few of them. Handy for if you're cooking with burgers or, you know, a sandwich. Pretty straightforward little pot or frying pan grabber, you know, doesn't cost much, weighs nothing. Um, this is a little handsaw. Got this in little. It's you know the Parkside um, tool group. It's not like it's not gonna chop down a tree, but it most certainly will take off small, uh, small trees, small branches, kind of you know twigs, that kind of thing ideal for gathering 
small lumps of wood um, if you don't have the axe this weighs a lot less so you know it's a compromise you can, you can bring both or you know sacrifice the axe and then bring this and uh, chop up your wood connects all back together pretty easy slots in the pocket of the bag no hassle first aid kit don't leave the house without it um, as you can see it's never been opened so uh, touch wood um, I, I won't have to open it it's you know you get them anywhere you often get them in pharmacies camping shops uh, Tesco little Aldi did them so yeah I highly recommend you know small cut or bruise it's grand but something more serious if you're you know you're far enough away from any kind of uh, medical assistance it's it's ideal to have Uh, this is actually my spare head torch. I'll show you my head torch next. It's just an old head torch that I've been using for years. Um, I just carry it. It doesn't weigh much. It works off batteries. So it's just handy to have in case something fails or, you know, if somebody else in your group uh, needs it or, you know, even you can have it for, like, rummage around your tent and whatnot. Just handy to have. Not major. Small mat uh, for kneeling down, you know, starting a fire. Or if you know in a, in a spot where you just want to sit down on a log or on the ground, it keeps it keeps you clean from um, getting destroyed, and it it's like it's just foam or material on it. it, doesn't weigh a thing. Super handy, and it can just slot in the very front of the backpack. A uh, spoon fork, spork, whatever you want to call them, handy. Has a bottle opener on it, and there's one or two other tools as well there, but. I generally just use it for the mostly the spoon because I have the knives and forks. Um, but you know, it doesn't cost much to get it. It's pretty pretty handy to put in your bag and just sit anywhere you like. And this is the torch. My torch. It doesn't come in this case. It's an old headphone case that I'm using. But this is it here. I'm pretty chuffed with this. Um, it's extremely bright for the money. I believe I paid. I think I paid 18 euros, I can double check that, but it's like it's for nothing. It's so powerful. Um, charge time is about two hours, um, lifespan is about eight hours, depending on what setting you have it on. Um, but yeah, like I always bring a power bank with me as well, just in case to top things up. But keep it in its little hard case and take a few knocks. And then last but not least, uh, it's a survival knife. It's realistically just my toy. It's a beautiful knife. Um, handy for cooking, eating if you want. Um, cutting up a bit of wood. Getting some shavings for starting fires. It's got a knife sharpener either side. It's got a slingshot. Um, the elastics inside. Some ball bearings here to shoot the slingshot. And then my favourite part about the whole knife is it's a fire steel. So if you just scrape the knife against this, you can start your fire, which is pretty nifty considering if something was to go wrong, you don't have your lighter or whatever source of uh, flame. So great little bit of kit. So yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I have. Um, that's for a one-nighter. Um, sorry, no, I suppose this is just a a change of clothes pants socks t-shirt underwear that kind of thing um that's optional uh, i just took it because the weather was pretty nasty before i was leaving um yeah so all in all that is my 65 liter bag all the items go inside it sorry okay. missing out on missing out on another cool item uh it's a little fo small fire stuff i'm sure most of you have seen these they just fold out into themselves and then you can put some timber or charcoal or whatever you have inside them. Stick a pot inside and set it alight. But um, that's handy because it's actually like almost pocket size. So that's it in my hand. You know, you could put that easily in your back pocket and take it with you. Uh, backup, I just use it as a backup if I can't start a fire, um, I'm just light fire that instead. So yeah, so that's the kit, um, I hope you enjoyed, 
and uh, keep an eye out for some more videos as I'll be hopefully out soon again doing another camp bye for now